Hey guys, Nomis RC. We are back inside the Ionic 5. I got something really, really special in. So this is the Carlinkit AI box. The particular one that I went with is their highest end model. It's 8 gigs of RAM and 128 storage. It's called CPC 200 T-Box Plus. They're not cheap, um, but they are well worth it. So I had one before this that was kind of a knockoff and it was crap. It lagged, it froze, it rebooted all the time. It was super slow. Um, this one also does wireless Android Auto, but then it's a full Android 13. This is version Android 13 OS that it displays onto your car screen. So you literally have everything that you could ever have on your cell phone on your car screen. So basically it has USB here and a couple of card slots. We'll hook this USB to our Android Auto port on our car. And then we'll go ahead and boot our car up and see what we got. Reading USB, it says that it, it found a device. This is its boot up sequence. All right, we are booted in. It's loading everything up. I'm gonna go ahead and try and connect to Android Auto. So we'll just show the basics here. Obviously we all know how to use Android Auto and then we'll kick over to the device for the actual fun part. Um, obviously you have your Google Maps, you have your music, whatever it is that you're listening to. And then you have, you know, some very basic functions. So this is all that we get, right? Normally this is all that we get with our screens. So the difference in this, having an actual AI box, is you can scroll down here and now that's going to give you your menu for your actual Android operating system. And then anytime that you want to go back to your CarPlay or Android Auto, you just click that button and it'll bring you right back. And you got your Android Auto back, right? So now we're just in the operating system itself. So you do have to have your hotspot on your phone turned on for this stuff to function. Obviously, this device needs some type of internet if you want to do stuff. Um, so go ahead and turn hotspot on your phone, and then you'll come into the device itself and go to the settings menu, right? Wi-Fi, networks. You actually have to turn Wi-Fi on, say OK. And now we can see that it connected up to my phone, Nomus Wi-Fi. Right now we can actually exit out of here and we can kind of go to our main menu. And now literally you can do whatever you want, right? You can go on just straight up Google, right? Search to your heart's desire. You can go on your YouTube. Right. You can watch anything you want. Obviously it has your basic apps already pre-installed like Netflix and YouTube music and other things. Um, but you can open a Play Store. So some of the reason that I went with the highest end Carlink kit is the 8 gig, 128 gig, and then it's got a quad core CPU. Uh, it's the highest specs that you can get on any of these AI boxes. So I wanted to be able to maybe possibly play some games on here if I was bored or something like that. It does have 128 gig of internal storage, so you can actually, you know, install quite a bit of stuff on this. The other one that I had was like 16 gig. It was hardly anything. Obviously, if you wanted to, you could install, you could sideload APKs and all that kind of stuff as well. Now, because I have hotspot enabled on my phone and it's connected through Wi-Fi, this won't work. So when, when you have it doing its own internet thing, you will not be able to connect to and or use Android Auto because it, it, it can't do both at the same time, which makes sense. So what you would actually have to do is come into your settings and then shut Wi-Fi off. And then at any time, if you want to, you can hit this auto kit button and then that will take you back into your Android auto stuff. I just want to point out real quick, if you need any passwords for anything, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is the password for most stuff. But if you want to get into this other settings and then factory settings, it's four, five, four, five. And that'll let you in and let you mess with some other stuff. Um, but so just so that you have the passwords, the default passwords for this device. Well, if you're at a charge station, it definitely does give you something to do. You can most definitely game on it.
So far though, I am super happy with it. Uh, I'll probably do a long-term review on it later, but for now, it's amazing. As always, guys.